Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a roller coaster in Roblox Studio that you'll end up with something around kind of like this. A decent ride with, a, with some scenery and a station. The first thing you're going to want to do is install the NW Space Coaster plugin. And it'll, it'll have icons kind of like this. So you'll see all these little icons and the first one you're going to want to click is select. And so once you, you might have to double click it. Once you click select, you will have your like beginning plot point of your roller coaster. So here is where you decide where you want it to be. I'm going to build my next one kind of large. Um, let me, let me, let me move this. Give me a second. Once you have your desired placing, you're going to click this button up here that says add to end. And you do that, it'll add another piece. Now you can hold alt and click this and manipulate this piece wherever you would want it to go see and it will move the rest of the track with it it's pretty cool actually the way this plugin works just since we aren't using c-frame physics please do be careful how you are going to be making this first i recommend building a more simplistic ride first i'm going to be doing a little bit more of a challenging ride but you can make yours a little bit more simplistic now, once you get to a desired point that hasn't moved upwards, like here for me, there's only moved down from the station, you could begin on your chain lift. So, I recommend doing um, a decent lift size like this. It it doesn't it, it might be a little bit not it might not be a little bit smooth, but luckily we have these little white pieces in here that when you move them it um, pulls like on the center pieces, so you can like make your turns more gradual or and smoother. So now we have our introdu now we have our introduction to our chain lift and we can begin to add to end more straight pieces to get to the top of our desired chain lift height. Just like this. Once you have gotten to your desired placing and measure that none of the turns in this part are too sharp, like right here it could be a little sharp, so I could scoop that back. Or just like make sure it's just right. And then once I made sure none of them are too sharp. Um, you can add to end and begin to design your drop. Now your drop is however you want to do it. I'm just going to do a basic straight down drop because that will most likely be easiest for you. And so right now, these are very like steep transitions. So what you can do is add, grab this piece right here. And then at the top, as you can see right here, it says divide. It will divide this piece into two pieces when you select the purple center piece. And then you can move this back and you could create it more gradual for that for this bottom part but then this luckily we have this white piece that we can move up and down and you can manipulate it until you get to until you get a very smooth style drop remember you can move any of the pieces to make sure that it's smooth now since you will most likely have a really good general idea of how it works since you're able to build this part um you just finish the layout and before you continue your layout I have a few tips, but I will explain it during the speed build section. Hey guys, it's Narxo's younger sister, and I have some tips for you when you're making your roller coaster layout. Tip number one, don't make your elements higher than two thirds of the lift hill. If you do make it higher than two thirds, then it might not make it around the track. Tip number two, don't use fast transitions. If your transitions are too quick, then the cart will get stuck. That's all the tips I have. Enjoy the rest of the speed bill. Let's say you've gotten to a decent stopping point of your ride. You finish somewhere around kind of far off. Let's just say like you're about to wrap it up. Okay, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna add to end, create a few straight pieces. You could like obviously manipulate the length of them because this is gonna be your brake run. This will be important later. So remember where your brake run is because it will be where you're going to place certain pieces. So this could be like your first brake run and then you could like add another part. Remember, turns can't be too small, so we have to make sure that they're the right amount of turn. <laughs> so you're just gonna like wrap it up, like finish up the turns to your ride, maybe like add a few more pieces. 
And so let's say that this is where your right has come to. Your right is, you're, you're about to attach it back to the front, but it's not going to attach on its own. There is a, a option up here that's called join ends. So you're gonna click join ends and it's going to kind of look like it messed it up a little bit. So what you're going to do is it's, you're gonna have to like strain it out and like have to manipulate this piece that it added in between because you do not want it to, it'll most likely make it too small so you can like scoot this back. And now, yeah, my piece looks functional. Make sure your piece is like pretty open spaced, kind of not too close together. And then yeah, you have your entire roller coaster tr roller coaster layout, like just like that, bam. Now what you're going to do next for your roller coaster is come up to the options up here and click compile. Now when you compile, you'll be able to select two separate pieces on your, on your um, explorer over here. You can ignore some of my other, other things, but we have this compiled new roller coaster and then we have new roller coaster. You can rename your roller coaster whatever it's gonna be. I haven't decided what this one's gonna be yet. Most likely a B and M, so let me rename it B and, and M. Okay, maybe like how about B and M. Um, just you can rename it whatever you want. It's the roller coaster. So you're gonna grab this file because it's good. if it's of the blue track, you're gonna grab this and put it into server storage. Because if it does break, you'll be able to use that later to your advantage to get a new compiled ride to adjust it. Most of the time, sometimes it will crash, but we'll not talk about that right now. And then you're going to grab your compiled ride and you can rename it the compiled version of whatever roller coaster it is. So mine is the B and M one. So B and M. So it's a compiled B and M coaster. So there, now you have a compiled version of the roller coaster, which can have C frame applied to it, but I do not know how to do that at the moment, so I cannot teach that at the moment. Open your coaster tool plugin up here at the top. And when you do, it should appear on the side or just anywhere here. And you can select what you could not select. You could select whatever track you want. So I'm going to be doing B and M, and you're gonna click open, and it should open it right here on the side once you've decided. So the first things you're going to want to do is we have all these things that just hit us. You can change the colors to whatever colors you want. Let me do that real quick. Okay. Now, once you have it technically whatever colors you want it to be, we're going to select what type of the station is going to be. So most of them might have like a station, but normally you could do brakes or transport for your station. If it has a transport, do transport. If it doesn't, then just do brakes. Okay, you're gonna set the so the track speed for the station is 10, so you're gonna set that to 10, and then you could then you could go to the default physical properties and turn that off. So the friction for the station, you're going to want to be one, and then the elasticity doesn't really matter. You just leave that. Then you're going to click activate it at the bottom right here, and you're going to select this, and it's going to start building these ties. So you select the piece before it, and it starts building these ties. And once you finish it, it should build a straight piece for where your station was. So this is my station piece. And then since I don't really need to have a transport segment bringing it to the station, even though I probably should, I'm going to <laughs> have I'm gonna go back and select the normal one, and I'm gonna um, turn the friction to zero on here. And I'm just gonna continue clicking the next part as it slowly builds the track. Now, once you get to around where the chain lift is right here, you're gonna select the chain. You're gonna set the track speed to 20, otherwise it takes too long. And you're gonna set the friction to two. That's what you want. So then you can start um, building your chain lift piece and you'll see it starts to build. On these black pieces, it will just build ties at first, but don't worry. You can, um, you could just, you could just, um, it'll just build a straight piece. Yeah, that's what I meant. Forget all that pop. Forget all that crap. Um, so yeah, once you make your chain lift like this, it's pretty straightforward after. You're going to select your normal piece. You're going to select track speed 20, well, which is what it already was. You're going to set your friction to zero, and then everything else is fine. So yeah, you're just going to finish setting it all to... You're just gonna set it all to like right before your brake run to track segment. Now, I just made a mistake here and I'm gonna show you what to do when you fix it. So if you accidentally skip over a part like this and it makes a really longer piece, there's a way to fix it. If you hit Control Z a few times until it disappears, it won't actually be gone. So you're gonna click this front piece right here and it's gonna build that line. You're gonna click Control Z again, you're gonna click it again twice and then you can click the next one and it should be fixed
get right to your brake run right here. You're going to select your brakes and you're going to set the track speed to 10 and you're gonna set the friction to 0 0.5. It allows for a really, really smooth um, brake run. If it's shorter, then make the friction a little bit higher, but if it's a longer one like this, you can make it longer. So you're just gonna build all the ties for it. And when you build it, it should be a brake. Mine has a special brake. And then, you know, you just set your transport and like set all your transport settings back to the same, like when you're building it. And then I have some more brakes right here, so I can build it with 0.5 friction, like this. And go back to transport and set it to 1 until I have completed my entire roller coaster. Now we have a successful roller coaster. This will work, even though it is kind of ugly right now. Not like that, it doesn't have any supports. It is pretty ugly in this situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our roller coaster settings, into our roller coaster plugin. Excuse me. And we're gonna scroll down until we find BM supports. So this one says like f only for use with the HQ C frame track high quality c-frame track all the other stuff it still works it works perfectly fine it works for me i don't see the big issue it still looks nice so what we could do is you could select the colors i'm gonna do that real quick there we go and what you do is you just build this wherever you really want to on the track so we have the straight try left and try right for this one i do this i do these supports with every single one of my metal roller coasters so we're gonna do straight for like this part and when you activate it, it starts place. Oh, that's dark. Um, let me like make it a little bit lighter. Okay, see? And you can start placing down these for your base. And then you can do like try left for your um, lift hill. So, I thought I recorded a certain segment, but I forgot to. But as seen on the image, there's a roller coaster catwalk. So, you can see the catwalks. I forgot to record that segment, but in your roller coaster plugin, if you just find catwalks, it'll just be very navig navigable options for you to be able to place them. Just do them exactly like the track, and you will have working catwalks. So, now all of your catwalks should be done. Should look like a pretty complete roller coaster. And. Yeah, it just doesn't have a station, and it also does not have cars. So, in the description I have linked two roller coaster cars, one for wooden coasters and one for almost every other type. Um, there's a few others that you might be able to find on there, but it's really hard to find working ones, so these are just two working ones that I can, that are like really easy to find. You're going to put them on the track, so that you have a roller coaster on the track. It does not need to be perfectly on the track, just needs to be kind of around. Now once you get it around, you can run it, and you can make sure that it works. see how the friction lowers there so it allows it to go around the track it might be a little fast so but that's it, it, it's gonna be fast it's a fast ride so now that you have a working roller coaster now that it's a working ride you technically finished you could build with parts build a station build a building just make sure it does not like get in the way and whatever you do don't don't move the ride it'll reset the velocity it will also, do not um, change the friction too much. It is very intense. The little, little amount, little amounts of friction change can definitely change the ride a lot. If the car isn't making it around, you can try to do that. You can also try to change some other things if the car does not make it. Also, your best bet, if your car does not make it around, would be to scrap it and restart. It definitely sucks having to scrap it and restart, but it is definitely a solution. Yes, the ride might seem fast, but if it wasn't fast, it probably wouldn't work. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a roller coaster in Roblox Studio. And 
for more. I guess subscribe if you want to to make me happy. If not, it's all up to you. And like the video if it helped you, I guess. I Cliche, but if it did, please tell, show me it did, I guess. I don't know. You know what? Peace out. Whatever.